We're joined today by the one and only John Waite. You know him from The Babies and Bad English, and he's got a new documentary on his life. It's called John Waite, The Hard Way. We're also here with the director, Mike Nichols. Hey, guys, how are you doing today? Good. It's great to be speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, our pleasure. I mean, um, what else are we going to be doing on a Friday morning? <laughs> well, let's talk a bit about the new documentary, John Waite, The Hard Way. It's out now. Uh, first of all, Mike, can you tell us a bit about the film? Wow. Uh, you know, it's hard for me, like I think it is hard for John to talk about, because in one sense, there's a lot of emotions and stuff in there. And to me, in a weird way, I, I think it's a little bit of an art film disguised as a documentary at times, because it took place and how it took place. And if there was a one of those cooking shows where they gave you a set of ingredients to make something out of when you would make a normal, uh, regular platform movie, we might've been able to follow John around on a tour. We might've been able to do lots of these things. Those were not on the table. So trying to make a movie out of what's available is its own kind of uh, cooking class. <laughs> well, very emotional. Uh, we were all living in strange emotions. So like John, I said, that for me, I think it's sometimes hard to watch. I don't think it's hard for the audience to watch. But there were emotions in there, even making it, that were, uh, I never knew how this was even going to turn out. So I don't think it's an ordinary documentary. If that's, that's a simple answer. <laughs> yeah, it is amazing to see, uh, John, the career that you've had. What was the process like for you, uh, you know, going back and, uh, and watching the film and kind of seeing everything you've done over your career? Was it difficult or humbling or cathartic, maybe, to see it all on film? I can't, I, you know, I lived it. And um, I didn't watch it for two months. They sent me a copy. I lived it. So I knew it. It's just how it's presented that gives it the drama and, and the curve and the emotion. You know, it's like, um, it took me a long time to watch it. You, at my age, at this point, with my career, uh, I'm not going to take a final bow. I'm still throwing punches, you know. Um, there's more work to do and touring and, and more music to make. But the story so far aspect of it, it's almost uh, unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. I mean, some of the stuff I've experienced and seen and the life I've had has been kind of a wonderful thing. Uh, it's just been so dramatic. The highs were incredibly high and the lows were kind of like there they are. But nothing stopped me. I, I was first and foremost, you know, writing my thoughts down and picking up a guitar. And it isn't like it was an ambition. It was deeper than that. I wasn't looking for success. So every time I took a punch, it was like, so what? You know, I didn't go and get a job. It's too late for that. You know, I, I went back and picked up the guitar and looked out the window and wrote a song. It's what I do. And what's happened along the way has been extraordinary, just extraordinary. Every five-year period is almost like a separate career in itself. And I'm relieved that I've had the chance in my life to make something of it and to, to make art and to affect people and have that conversation with people. So I know that I succeeded, even though it was a rocky road, you know. It's amazing to see the career you've had um, as far as, you know, the huge success with the babies and then with Bad English, of course, your solo career. I mean, I can only think of a handful of musicians who have pulled that off. Uh, so that, I mean, just for you, that's got to be great. And uh, of course, uh, tough as well to kind of fit all that in into the film, but you guys pulled it off. It worked out great. Mike. Yeah. You know, in a character sort of way, if this was like a, like a movie movie, uh, watching John talk and listening to John talk, whenever there was a story, and there's many stories that happen when you're in the music business or a business of trying to do art in a commercialized world, that are struggles, and they may not always end in a happy ending. One of my favorite things, though, is John never asked to feel sorry for him. He always would finish every bit of things. He said, but I got to do this, and I got these things out of it. It's all very positive, even in they, and I was always really drawn to that. And one of my favorite images in, in the film uh, is, is there's an ending shot, and I believe it's captured by Tim Hogan, where you were filming, and it's just with a, like an iPhone. It's not even great resolution or anything, but it's this smile of seeing John on stage. And, and, and I please, uh, it's one of my favorite images, especially after the journey through the whole movie. 
because I think that's still the representation of what I just was speaking of, is you may empathize or sympathize with some of the stories that John tells, but I feel like him as a person is always trying to find the good in all of that. Uh, and I, I, that's why I was really drawn to it. Excellent. And again, uh, the film John Wait The Hard Way is out now. It's on DVD, Blu-ray, all the streaming platforms. And John, I know you also got the new uh, Greatest Hits album, Singles, out, and then yes. the new EP, Anything. I mean, you got a, a lot of stuff on your plate these days. We've been on the road, uh, like, really killing it for a year. You know, we didn't expect. We went on tour with uh, Rich Springfield and Men at Work, and we c- came out, like, kind of semi-unplugged with a small drum kit and absolutely killed it uh, in front of about 6,000 people a night. And we've been on tour headlining before that. Then after that, we had a two days off, played a friend's wedding, went home packed, and went to Holland and played seven solo shows in Holland. And then we came back, and I, I went straight to a gig in uh, uh, outside Boston. You know, and, and, and now we're, we're going out again. But at the end of the year, all, of, of all this, it, we've played probably to the most people we've played to in the last few years. It's been a really glorious, I mean, just enjoyed the hell out of it. But now, at the end of the year, here comes the hard way. You know, a documentary that's kind of no no holes barred, you know, doesn't pull any punches. It's uh, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I it all seems to be kind of things coalesce, you know. Uh, the, the release of the Anything EP, uh, the, the bonus track, Masters of War, Bob Dylan, that's a standalone track, uh, with the heart of the Ukraine intended to be spotlighted. And then the 18 song singles release, everything's happening at once. But it doesn't seem to be a surprise. We just move into it and, uh, and dance. There's nothing. It feels right. Everything feels right. And if the documentary is well received, which it seems to be being, that would be a tremendous end to the year. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. The new film is great, and hopefully I can speak with you again sometime. Well, God bless you. Thanks for the support. All right, Thank you, you. bet. Bye-bye. And again, that was director Mike Nichols of the film John Waite, The Hard Way. And, of course, John Waite joining us as well. His new album, Singles, is out, and his new EP, Anything, out as well.